Hello everybody, it has been quite a while since I've recorded anything, uh, but a lovely, lovely update for you guys. This piece is finally finished. I finished this about 30 minutes ago. Um, and I just had to like let it settle that I had finished this because this has been sitting here for almost six months, which is my fault, but I'm so happy to have this done. Not because, not out of like not enjoying this. I very much enjoyed this. Life has just been crazy for me. Lots has gone on, lots of uh, new beginnings gonna be happening. Um, but I will get into that whenever I'm able to record some form of flipping chat, hopefully soon. Um, but this is comfortably numb. Uh, that's how I've been feeling lately too. <laughs> but um, yeah, hold on one moment. So I normally would tell you how many hours this took to do. Uh, for this one, I did not record how many hours it took because of the um, I took so many breaks while working on this and those breaks were quite long so then when I would come back to working on this uh, I would be a lot slower uh, like at whatever section I was starting with so I felt like it wasn't really like a proper sort of like if I were to just normally be working on this at a normal pace. Um, but I can tell you this was broken up into 30 sections. There was flip flop. Um, telling you how he worked on this as well. He partook by stepping on this a few times while I had, you know, glue exposed to the air um, but this was broken up into about 30 sections so this probably took me between 45 and 60 hours I'm gonna hopefully get him to move there we are now I am gonna turn this uh, so I can give you guys a nice sort of closer pan uh, down at this. There we are. Um, yeah, I have really enjoyed the process of doing this, even though it was so broken up. Uh, this is a piece that, uh, you know, depending on how you work on your, your diamond paintings, I usually would go around the border and sort of spiral inward to the middle but this one I did differently this one I started at the top and ended at the bottom uh, and there was kind of a bit like obviously like you can see this like I would say this like quarter of the diamond painting is just all color blocking um, you know, depending on your section sizes, um, like, I do believe this has a good ratio of color blocking to confetti, but, like, if you're someone, you know, depending on how you work, uh, and, like, you get bored easily with color blocking, I would say this section would be maybe a little bit difficult for you, but otherwise, the rest of this, uh, just really good balance confetti to color blocking even down here in the jacket hopefully you're able to kind of see that i know there is a glare because these are so shiny but you know there's still that little bit of confetti in these sleeves even in the hand um i finished this by doing the smiley face i felt really good to finish on that um but yeah uh I would say that really that sort of quadrant is kind of the only space where I think some people might 
get bored if they don't enjoy color blocking. Um, but yeah, so this piece had 54 colors with three ABs. Um, the ABs are not, uh, what's the word? Very prevalent, I guess. Um, and I don't think you can probably see them very well from my phone because it's nighttime and I'm like recording with not the best lighting. But so there's eight, so the orange one is here. Uh, and here, here, and here, and a little bit right here, and then the yellow AB is right here, uh, right here, and right here, <coughs> excuse me, and then the white AB is around this light bulb, a little bit in the middle, right here, and I think that's it. So there's not... I'm sorry if you can hear my cat rummaging. He's... He's nosy. Uh, but that is the only spot where those ABs are. They're not very prevalent in this. Um, I do kind of wish there was a little bit more. Like, because there is that little bit of blue uh, throughout the medication, I kind of wish there might have been a blue one. Um, I'm sorry that I'm saying um so much. I started a new medication today, and it's 9 p.m., and I've been up since 6 this morning, and it's been very crazy today, so I'm tired. <laughs> but, um, there I go again. Sorry. Uh, I, I just want to say I did really enjoy this piece, and tomorrow I will be figuring out what my next project will be and I'm not entirely sure if that project will be a round piece or not I there's a few contenders on what I want to do I'm gonna like talk to my cousin tomorrow so we're gonna have like a little conversation about it uh I like to update her on my projects so I'll like give her the options and she can choose or something but yeah um what else this piece is available still so i will link it down below and i think that's about it all i have for you guys uh, i'm depending on how long this takes to upload it might upload tonight today's friday for me still or it'll come out saturday morning uh, um, but hopefully within the next couple of days I can have some form of kidding up for you for whatever project I choose and then we can go from there. Hopefully I'll be able to kind of get back into uploading to YouTube. I know it's been almost three months. That's my fault. Um, but yeah, and I apologize for the, all the ums in this video. I'm exhausted, uh, but yeah. Oh, I apologize. One more thing I forgot to tell you. Because I believe this was the project where I wasn't able to show you guys the kitting up process. I used Harbor Freight containers for this. I used three of them. Now, this one is broken down here. That's what that is in case your, your eye goes there. So, for 310, which is black, I believe at the beginning there were five or six of these containers of black. And finishing, I was down to about just over half of one of these. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Harbor Freight containers, these little rectangles can hold, I believe, one and a half of the really full, heavy uh, Diamond Art Club diamond bags. And then this dark brown right here, you see here, and like in the the jacket and really this giant section uh it was three three seven one that one i believe had about four of these and when i finished it was 
like an almost full one of this. So those two colors are what you have the most of and you use the most of them or the most of the Y, the 3371 here I would say. The black is really just strewn throughout so like once you uh, maybe like right here like this is a, where it's really condensed uh, depending on how you work like it's pretty spaced out unless you like start at the bottom it just depends on where you start really but that is all I have for you I'm sorry this was kind of hectic like I said, it's, it's late at night for me, and it's been a crazy day, but I've really enjoyed working on this, and I hope to get a, a video up within three to four days of this one going up, and just trying to gradually get back into posting on here, because I do enjoy it. I do enjoy sharing the creative process. Until then... Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Do some form of self-care for yourself. It is crazy times. I know school just got back, got back in a couple of weeks ago. So all you parents, I'm sure you're trying to, you know, get back in that routine. And uh, children too. Children horses for some reason. Or college people. Um, but yeah, uh, do something nice for yourself. My self-care today was finishing this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.